hi guys and welcome to yet another video so this morning i'm down in the stream and today i want to show you guys how we raise our sand dam wall just a little bit and the impact that it has made and i'm sorry guys i had footage from the construction of the wall but unfortunately i lost my phone during the project i accidentally dropped it in the water and it stayed there for quite some time before i could realize and it has been severely damaged morning guys this morning i'm down in the stream as you can see and this is my sand dam the tank as you guys know it from other videos and i just wanted to give you guys an update that over the past few days uh, dad suggested that we raise the dam wall the retaining wall just by about 200 millimeters so that's what we've been doing for the past couple of days and yesterday we finished with the job as you guys can see we raised the retaining wall all the way from that end to that other end and what we also did is that we added a bigger inlet here so I was actually quite surprised this morning when I came down here and found that so much water has collected already. I mean, look at that huge volume of water that has collected all the way around the corner. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you just how much water has collected all the way around this a curve of the stream right here. So before we had another inlet somewhere here going into the tank. So we just sealed that off because it was just too small. It was just a size 50 mm uh, PVC pipe. So this is 110 that we've added here. So this is gonna be our new inlet. All that's left to do now is to make a cover and dad also mentioned that he wants to mold a slab that will go on top here just so that we're safe during floods we don't have any risk of mud and sand going into the dam but guys just look at how much water has collected here I'm wearing my feet and I'm just going to step in. Look at how much water has collected. I just got to be careful so that it doesn't go into my boots. Ah! <laughs> okay, I got a bit of water in my boot, but that's okay. And I also dropped my phone during the construction. I dropped my phone somewhere here and... Uh, it took me quite some time to realize that my phone has fallen <laughs> so i might be doing less vlogs now guys because i don't have a phone i'm actually using my mom's phone right now to record this video but i just wanted to show you guys just how much water has collected look at that all the way around the corner that was just a tiny tiny stream going down before but look at all the water it, i mean it's collected all the way back there um this is actually the first time that i'm looking around this corner so essentially raising the dam wall is gonna help silt up more sand all the way around this corner where all this water has collected once we get a flood or something um the, the dam will silt up more sand and raise it up to this level and we'll be collecting more water inside that sand so yeah guys I'm, I'm quite amazed actually like look at how much water collected overnight here um, 
there's the dam over there. There's my brother, my dear, here setting the pump. We were going to set the pump, the solar pump, just now so that we could start uh, pumping water to the farm. But that's where the dam is. And I just want to go all the way around the corner here just to see. Look at that. Look at the amount of water that has collected here. Wow. So all the way here, all the way up here. And somebody uh, made uh, quite a fascinating comment on my first sand dam video. And if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link to it down in the description. But it, she was, the person, he or she was basically suggesting that we could add more sand dams further up the stream or further down because we only have three right now. So it would help a lot and that's what we've had in our hearts for a very long time. It's what my dad has always wanted to do but sometimes you know finances can be a restriction, can be a restriction and, and time as well because he's quite busy. He's actually working with the World Food Program right now and they're building these sand dams. Uh, in some villages, in, in some villages in Lesotho. Look at that. This is all water that we are collecting. This water will all percolate into the underground and feed the underground water table. And my dad was just saying yesterday that that helps like if you you dig up a few boreholes um, I mean it feeds the underground water table so it, it means we would have a constant supply of water as well even if we were to dig boreholes like at home like we have one at the school so we're never really short of water This is quite incredible. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Ah. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna get more water into my boots now. water into my boots on the same spot where I dropped my phone. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm just gonna go ahead and set up the pump right now and get it running to pump some water up onto the farm. But if you enjoyed watching this video, kindly do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment as well and let me know what you think. I'm always happy to read the comments. And if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to smash that notification bell as well so that you'll be notified every time I upload. And guys, from the Mountain Kingdom of Lesotho to you guys, it's always a pleasure to connect with you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.